Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a very interesting recipe of quiche with Roquefort cheese and figs. It's a fig season now, we have plenty of figs in the garden, so I decided to give it a try. This recipe comes from a very special person, so I am a bit nervous and I hope you don't see it on the camera. So for this recipe we need a pastry dough, we are going to spread it on the mold and give few perks in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then evenly spread 125 grams of blue Roquefort cheese, just like this. When the crust is ready, we are going to set it aside and we can now do our batter. Whisk 4 eggs with 250 milliliters of whipped cream. I am using medium-sized normal regular eggs some salt and pepper and as I said 250 milliliters of whipped cream. Whisk it well until it comes to a very nice and smooth um, consistency batter. Mm -hmm. When everything is well incorporated we add two tablespoons of finely chopped leaves of parsley or salsa and then we continue mixing. So the batter is ready, we can put it aside and we are now going to do our figs. For this recipe we need 6 figs and we are cutting them into 8. This video is fastened at least 8 times. <laughs> I wish I could work this fast. So here we go, the figs are ready, now we are going to organize them on our crust. You can really use your imagination and, and also you can control where every fig is going to go and also you can control the density of the fruits on your pie. And there we go, almost done, last piece. So the next thing is when the crust is ready we are going to pour our batter on the ingredients and bake the quiche in preheated to 200 degrees oven for 40 minutes or until golden brown. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen, our quiche has been baking for 40 minutes and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's just out of the oven, let's give it half an hour to cool down a bit and then we are going to cut it and see it from the inside. Let's transfer the pie into our cutting board. It comes out easily. It doesn't stick to the paper, it doesn't stick anywhere. And I also like the way it holds itself when I'm cutting. Just have a look at this. Everything seems to be in place. Everything is in a good shape. The pie isn't sloppy, it's not uh, flopping around or flipping around. And let's just give it a test drive. All right. Oh, look at that. The pie really holds itself nicely. It's very easy to handle it, easy to work with it. And let's look at the bottom. Oh, yes. The bottom is nicely baked as well. I very much like the taste of the figs and Roquefort cheese here, how they balance each other, how the sweetness of figs balance the cheese. It's really amazing. In general, I'm very, very happy with the recipe. Yanni, if you're watching this, thank you very much. We absolutely love this tart and I think this is not going to be the last time I made it. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked the video. Do subscribe for more original recipes like this and I see you in the next videos.